Good day, everyone. Welcome to the show. Listen, I'm glad to have you guys here. I've been keeping a special eye on the markets this morning. And I'm doing this special show to talk to you guys. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm really glad to have you guys here. Today is the 23rd of uh, Thursday of January 23rd, 2020. And, you know, I want to invite all of you guys, uh, if you haven't already, to click on the link in the description of this video and tune into my channel where I'm holding special reports every day on this developing story of this virus that's coming out of China. Now, I think that, and I've thought it for a while now, I've been talking about this, that this is going to slow down the world economy. And I studied the uh, viruses of the past, like back in 1918, we had a virus called the Spanish influenza. And the net effect of that virus was a tremendous slowdown in the economies of the world because the thing is, is, is it basically slows everything down. It's, it's a, it can cause a recession. But but there's the thing, guys. We were already ready to have getting ready to have a recession. We're starting to move into one. We had a yield curve inversion, which is a leading indicator of, that the world is going into a recession. And the Fed were already front running. They're already front running this coming recession. This recession that's coming is not going to be a normal recession because of the over leveraged system. Okay. Let's get started. Let's open up the, the charts right here and take a look at what's going on in the world economy today. And, you know, this uh, worries over this this virus in China is, is affecting markets tremendously. Tremendously. Okay, but we see uh, silver's catching a bit today, a little bit. But the price is extremely low right now compared to what it could be. I don't think people realize. People think, okay, silver and gold have rallied, you know, and they think, oh, oh, this is it. The rally's over and all this stuff, and oh, we missed the boat. It hasn't started, guys. It hasn't started. The real rally hasn't started yet, and I'm going to explain to you why, you know. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you. Gold and silver are what underpin the entire world's financial system. They think bonds underpin the financial system, but... Bonds, you know, U.S. Treasuries and Treasury bonds would be great if they weren't part of a system, the United States, <laughs> the United States financial system that that is that is completely bankrupt. You're buying basically like buying stock in a in a company that's bankrupt, except say the company could print all the money they wanted, so they're not going to default on the U.S. Treasury bonds. That's not how this bankruptcy is going to work, guys. What they're going to do is they're going to they're going to print the dollar into oblivion, and then the treasury bonds won't have any purchasing power. When this is realized, when this fact is realized, at that particular point in time, you're going to see a move in gold and silver like you've never seen before in your lives, to the upside, not to the downside, to the upside, guys. And you just got to wait for it. You got to be a little bit patient because this market, gold and silver, is a manipulated market and manipulated not to the upside, but it's been manipulated for many years to the downside, guys. And silver is the most extreme example in the world of an underpriced asset. So here you go. Here's the silver price, 1777 today. It's down two cents. Gold. Okay, come on, I pushed it. There it is, fifteen sixty-two. Now gold's up three dollars and eighty cents. This is the first gut reaction in financial systems, you know, is to buy gold if they sense trouble, you know, to buy gold, you know. But, uh, well, <clears throat> big money doesn't think silver; it thinks gold. You know, the real big money. Anyway. Uh, gold is catching a little bit of a bid today, but nothing like it should be. 
Now let's take a look at uh, the cryptocurrency market today and see what we got here. Mm. Cryptocurrency has cooled down a little bit and it's continuing to cool down. Uh, we're looking at a little bit of a depressed price in cryptocurrency. It's starting to it's starting to roll over a little bit. 232. What's up to like 241? You know. Now it's 232, and that was just a couple days ago. It was like 241, 242. So it's lost ten, about $10 billion off the market cap of the industry. i got to look at the cryptocurrency industry as a whole rather than just Bitcoin. But the Bitcoin price today is 83.79, and it's going along kind of sideways right now. Uh, we're looking at a price of XRP at 22.7 cents. So XRP is doing rather well uh, because it was like 21 cents there uh, last a few weeks ago, you know. Uh, let's see, Litecoin, 55.50. That's the price for Litecoin today. Now let's take a look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Okay, and we're looking at uh, down 148 points today. 29,037 for the Dow Jones. Now, the Chinese have locked down cities. If anybody out there thinks that this is not going to have an effect on the uh, world's financial system, you're kidding yourselves. China sneezes and the rest of the world catches cold. I mean, this is what's going to happen. I don't think, I think things are moving so fast, so rapidly here, that the world has not actually kept up with the rapid pace things are moving right now. The world's lagging a little bit behind, like the stock market's lagging a little bit behind what's happening in the world right now. It hasn't sunk in yet, you know. <clears throat> it's moving so fast. I, I go to bed and wake up the next morning and everything's changing. I mean, I have to update myself of what's going on, you know? And this morning, things were changing so much. I mean, I'm telling you guys, this is a, a, a rapid uh, changes are happening in the world in, on a large scale right now. There, uh, well, I'm going to get to that in just a second, okay? Let's take a look now at uh, crude oil. Down one point a dollar seventy three. Now that's a big drop in crude oil. So this is because, like I say, flu or virus or whatever, you know, it slows everything down. People don't move as much. People people stay home. They they get frightened. They they flights. It have a tremendous effect on airplane flights. You know. Going back maybe two months ago, most airplane flights are fully booked. Fully booked right now. If you take a look at the flights, like if you were to go to some place like Expedia or some place like that and take a look at the flights right now, you'd probably see that bookings are dropping like diminishing like a, 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 a stone falling in the water. You know, that's how quick that, that – and, you know, the jet fuel, I mean, that these flights use – uh, all of these things are made from petroleum products, so petroleum's falling. It's down a dollar seventy-three, which is quite a big drop. It's a three percent drop. You know, let's take a look at U.S. Treasuries. All of these <clears throat> these people are not foolish. I'm not going to call them foolish. The people that are running into treasuries, you know. But they're, they're running into treasuries out of fear right now, and they're perceiving treasuries as being the big safe haven asset. They're overlooking gold. They're overlooking silver. They're even overlooking cryptocurrencies. And they're running into these treasuries like crazy. Look at the fallen yields we got today on these treasuries. Uh, almost five basis points on the U.S. 10-year. U.S. 10-year sitting at 1.72. Where we're looking at the U.S. 30-year at 2.17. Uh, looking at the 7-year at 1.64. And we're looking at almost a 5 basis point drop across the board in the long end of the spectrum of, of the yield curve. We don't get down to it unchanged 
until we get down to one year or six months on these treasuries. They're buying treasuries like crazy. And there's one big thing that these people are missing. The big thing that they're missing is, is there's no end to how much that they can print. The Fed can make draconian measures to do whatever they want, basically. They're, they can print money to infinity. And for people out there says, oh, the Fed won't do that. They won't print, they won't print $20 trillion. They'll never do that. Or, or they'll never print $40 trillion or whatever it takes to, to save the world economy. They won't do it. They'll let it collapse and stuff. And then, Or it'll go to Congress and we'll, they'll have to... Uh, no, the Fed's arbitrary. They, don't, they won't gas Congress. They'll just print it. And it's at that moment... What, what I call the great print, the print of all prints, when they make more money than there are leaves on tr on the trees outside your house. Believe me, they can do it. They can do it just like the Chinese government can, can basically block access to three cities overnight with, with, that have 20 million people in these cities. They can just say, okay, nobody in or out. Well, the Fed has that same arbitrary kind of, of be able to just do it. They just, they'll just do it overnight. You wake up the next morning and then a print will be on. And these treasuries will lose half of their value. Yeah, they're gonna, they'll pay out. Sure, they'll pay out. But, but what's the treasury gonna be worth in buying power? Half. And then they'll do it again. The Fed will do it again, and it'll only be worth 25% of what they were worth. And when they start to do that, you're going to see the gold and silver price keep up with inflation. In other words, if they print these treasuries, so these treasuries are only worth half, you'll see gold double in price. And then these people that bought these treasuries will wish that they had bought in to the real underpinner that underpins the world's financial system and believe me it's not this paper junk this paper garbage okay let's move on and let's take a look now at uh, US dollar index and the dollar is going up today but what's it being compared against on this on this on this US dollar index it's being compared against other fiat garbage currencies Cash is trash. Honest to goodness. And they there's only there's only three ways out. Gold, silver, and crypto. And those are being all suppressed. This explosive move that's coming into gold, silver, and crypto might take a bit of time, but believe me guys, it's gonna be worth waiting for. It's gonna be massive. You know, it's going to be worth waiting for. 97.75 on the U.S. dollar index. Thank you guys for listening to this special show. And remember, if you want reports on the virus, tune in to, I uh, put the link in the description to my other channel. I do daily reports over there. And, and I'm going to be talking about today, I'm going to be talking about the effect it could have on the world's financial system. But that's later today. I'm going to do that show. But I already got like a number of reports over there already that you can look at. Thank you guys for listening. Like and subscribe. And we'll catch you guys on the very next show. And the good guys have a great day. Bye-bye.